In this video, I'm going to show you how to link up the Elementor global colors with your custom CSS. So as you know, when you are using Elementor, you can set your global color palette. So you either have these system colors or you can add in a bunch of custom colors, uh, such as these brand color one, two, and three. And then you can apply these across your site uh, to different elements using the global icon. And should you have calls to change your brand colors or any of the global settings, then that will change across the site. That's all fantastic. But sometimes there is need to create custom CSS. Now, I first showed how to do this, how to link up your Elementor global colors with custom CSS in my tutorial about individual colors for individual menu items. And uh, you know, if you'd like to learn how to make that, then please check out that video. But there are some other situations where you might need to custom code a CSS color value into custom CSS. Did that make sense? Don't know. So one of these might be that the heading element does not have any hover style effects or options on it. So you can't change the state, the color state of the heading using the normal Elementor interface. It just doesn't work. So what you would have to do is chuck a, a class on it and then custom CSS, and you'd go and put in a hover color value. Now that's all well and good, but should you want the heading to change into one of your global colors, perhaps, you would need to add the global hex code. So you may well just go and grab that. You could go along to brand color two and be like, yep, that's what I want to do and go along here and you would paste that in. Uh, that's wonderful, it works, that's great. Now let's say we go and change that out, we would have to go and revisit our custom CSS and swap out the hex code. I'll just quickly show you another time when you might need to custom code a, a, co a color value. Uh, for example, here I've added a span to this one word here. So you've got, we've got span class one word and uh, as we hover over it, or you might just want it to not be a hover value, but just a different color, we might uh, want to custom code into that, uh, that we've got a different color for the span and then a different color on the hover. So for example, I can change this to green. So that's a custom CSS color value that we're needing to add. And then again, if you want to new, know how to do the menu, uh, check out the other video. Okay, so now we know what we might want to change with custom CSS color values. How do we actually do that? Well, on this page, I've created some elements and they are using the global colors as a palette. So uh, if we look at the system colors here, we've got primary, I'm just gonna zoom in. We've got primary, secondary, and accent. And we can say that here, primary, secondary, and accent. But then we've got some uh, brand colors in the custom colors, one, two, and three. And uh, if we go along, that's one, two, and three. Okay, so how do we get these values so that they will change with our global colors. So popping along to our primary color here, so this is the primary, I'm going to right click and go to inspect and it'll bring up the inspector tool hovering over the elements here. You can double check with, with what this color is there. Um, and you can see over here, we've got background. Let me turn off my face. We have background color and then this var here and we've got global color primary. Now watch, I will right click and inspect over the other element. I could have just moved to there and we've got global color secondary. Okay, now, do you wanna place your bets? Yep. Hover over this and we've got global color accent. So these are standard and these won't change. So I'm going to add these in the description below. You can follow a link and just copy and paste these and you will always have these, just put them in a safe place. So let me show you how this works. If I just copy that one from var to the semicolon there, bring my face back to be like, hello. And then we're going to go along and find one of our CSS values here. So I'm going to, oh, I was already on it. So I'm gonna to go to this heading and I would like the one word span to be uh, the global color. So uh, let's go along to um, where I put the custom CSS. And here, I would like to change this color to our global. So that, I should have removed that semicolon there. So now you can see that we've got the var global primary and it's already changed. Look at that. So we're using our um, global primary color. Now I'm just gonna quickly update that and let's view that on the front end. Coming on down and you can see that that is taking effect. Now, if I change this, let's make it sort of, uh, no, let's go with something really different so you can see something gross. 
That's cool. Update that. Now I've changed the global color and this is implemented in custom CSS. Let's click that, refresh, and look at that, it's taking effect. So we now have global effect CSS, custom CSS. That's wonderful. Now let's grab something to do with one of our uh, brand colors here. So these are custom colors. So again, we go to the front end of the site and find my little color palette. I think we're gonna change the hover to this. So let's get a bit grotesque, okay? So right click, inspect. Let's move my face again, shall we? Right click, inspect. There we go, we're over that element. Let's just double check with a little hover there. And you can see that we've got the background color var here. So what's different about this is that instead of um, e global color and then something like brand color uh, three, it would be in this case, uh, what we have here instead is a little reference number. So uh, that is not the hash code, uh, the hash code, the hex code. Okay, so it's a unique identifier. So this is something that I can't give you to copy and paste. So I'm going to copy that now, add this to the hover effect, okay? And let's update, let's just do this on the front end. Uh, let's go all in and uh, just check that this is working. There we go, I'm going to refresh. So we have global color primary, uh, custom CSS into that. And when we hover over it, we should see this color here. Yay, it works, how fantastic. So there we go, that is how to link your element of global colors and global custom colors with your custom CSS, meaning that you never have to jump into your custom CSS to swap out a color value if you change those global colors. Hope you've enjoyed. Again, if you would like to have a look at the uh, how to create individual colors for individual menu items, please do check out that video and there will of course be a recap uh, for the for the color tutorial um, in that one as well because that's where I first showed you how to do it. Okay, uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe, and I will catch you later. Thanks. Bye.